Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and today I'll be walking you through the individual substance use data dashboards located on the Hawaii Behavioral Health Dashboard website. The substance use dashboards are located on the first tab of the dashboard section and are organized by data sets. On the top right hand side of the dashboard tabs, you'll find the SUDI, or Substance Use Data Inventory, which compiles a comprehensive list of data resources. On the upper left-hand corner of the dashboard, there is a play button which navigates to a tutorial where I demonstrate how the NESDA dashboard was made using Power BI. The first tab is the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, which is an annual survey on substance use and mental health in the U.S. The main page displays state substance use data and can be filtered by indicator and time period. This data can be further broken down by filtering for substance or demographic category. On the bottom left hand of the dashboard, you will find a definitions button, which contains the descriptions of substances and other terminology relevant to the data set. This dashboard also contains county data as well as substance use treatment data. The second tab is the HCUP SID, or the Healthcare Cost Utilization Project State Inpatient Databases. HCUP is a group of healthcare databases, tools, and softwares, which includes the largest collection of longitudinal hospital care data in the U.S. The HCUP SID dashboard displays inpatient stays per 100,000 residents with diagnoses related to substance abuse and mental health. This dashboard can be filtered by year, substance, age, sex, and race. The next tab is the Hawaii Coordinated Access Resource Entry System, also known as Hawaii Cares. Hawaii Cares is a free mental health and substance use call center. This dashboard displays monthly and hourly trends in CARES calls that can be filtered by year, month, and the day of the week. We also have NVSS, or the National Vital Statistics System, which monitors and tracks drug overdose deaths. This dashboard provides overdose deaths per 100,000 residents and can be filtered by substance and year. Lastly, we have the co-occurring mental health dashboard, which provides co-occurring substance use and mental health data from the NASDAQ. The mental health tab displays data with mental illness as the primary indicator, while the substance use tab contains data where substance use is the primary indicator. These data can also be filtered for substance and demographic categories. As you can see, we have many different data visualizations throughout the dashboard. The NESA dashboard contains bar graphs comparing the state and the national data, while the HCUP SID dashboard contains a pie chart displaying diagnosis categories as well as a line chart to represent trends and in inpatient stays. Each dashboard also includes cards displaying key data points. For example, on the HCUP SID dashboard tab, the card on the upper right-hand corner displays alcohol as the most frequent substance-related primary diagnosis group between 2010 to 2014. This concludes the walkthrough of our substance use dashboards. Please visit our Hawaii Behavioral Health Dashboard website to explore more. Thank you for watching!